Hey guys, I thought I'd do an update, catch you guys up where we, um, where we left off on my last video. So I think on my last video, I explained to you guys that I've been officially diagnosed as having Lyme disease and I had just started my antibiotic, the doxycycline. So, all right, let's fast forward to where we're at today. So I did the doxy for two weeks. I think it was pretty pointless. Um, I guess that's your typical protocol for, um, for, for your basic treatment of Lyme. But when you're dealing with somebody who's had symptoms for at least, at least five, six years, it was just kind of pointless. I don't, I don't see what the point of any of that was. So um, needless to say, it did nothing for me. So um, I have had no improvement. Nothing's changed. I have had a couple of appointments that I went to and have some updates though. So first I did what's called the visual evoked potential test, which is when they test your eyes. Um, it's really simple. You just kind of look at a screen, it blinks, and it's testing what's going on from here to here. I guess like what's going, the signals that goes to your brain from your eye. And I did pass, which was really good. Um, and then I went in for an MRI and I did not pass. So I do have some brain lesions. Um, we do not know at this point if these lesions have always been there, where they're from. I do not know how many I have, where they're at located on my brain. I know nothing at this point. I know that I go see the neurologist in a couple days, so I'll have some updates here soon. Um, but yes, I do have some brain lesions, which we do know that Lyme disease does cause brain lesions. So. So I'm, I'm not super shocked, but at this point, I have not been diagnosed as having MS, but now we have a baseline. So now that we know that the brain lesions are there, we can keep an eye on, you know, on them. And she said, I'll do another MRI in about six months to a year, unless things change from here to then. Um, if, if there's drastic change with my health, then of course we'll do one, you know, right away. But as of right now, we'll check in about six months to a year and see where we're at as far as brain lesions and, um, and go from there. So I am not diagnosed as having MS, but I'm, I'm being watched for it, if you will. I also have been referred to an infectious disease doctor and I meet with a doctor in se mid-September. So I have um, about a month and a half. I guess it's hard to get in with special doctors. So meanwhile, um, I'm just doing supplements, essential oils. I haven't seen any improvement as far as that goes. A little bit with pain, um, nothing drastic, but I'll share what I'm doing. Of course, what I'm doing, I have not been healed. I am not in remission by no means, but um, I've done a lot of research online and looked up, you know, just what would uh, be really good ways to holistically heal and, you know, help my body fight off what's going on. So I've compiled a lot of different things from different articles and videos I've seen online and just came up with my own, I guess, meet of um, how I'm going to battle this for now. And um, yeah, so I'll share that. Um, infectious disease doctor. From the Lyme community, I, have, um, I haven't heard really good stuff about seeing an infectious disease doctor. Not to say that um, they're not good doctors. By no means, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm saying as far as treating this disease, I haven't heard really good stuff. So, I mean, it's a start. I'm going to go. My appointment's in about a month, month and a half, and we'll start there. I don't know if we have um, a Lyme literate doctor here um, where I'm at, probably not. I hear that they're rare, but I need to get in somewhere and start somewhere. I do know that we have a doctor here in my town that does um, medically, like does stuff holistically, all natural, and does do Lyme. So I might meet with him, get an appointment after I meet with this other doctor and we'll go from there. I don't know, I haven't made my decision because I haven't even got in with the doctor to, to really know much of you know, um, her experience with Lyme patients. So we'll go from there. So that's where I'm at. I'll do another update soon. I see my neurologist in like three days and we'll go from there. We'll go over the results with MRI. Um, if we move on with lumbar puncture, what the next step is as far as diagnosing MS or um, just accepting 
or, or, or just staying with the fact that um, I have Lyme. I don't know. We go, we go in like three days and we'll go from there and find out like where to go from there. So there's my updates. Um, thank you everybody that's asked questions, messaged me, um, and watched my videos. I do say I have a lot of views on my videos. I have um, my video that talks about being three weeks out from from my spinal surgery has like almost, or I think over 50,000 views, which is a lot, so thank you guys. Um, now just remember, if you're watching the videos, go down below and subscribe, okay? So I'll have lots of videos also coming with my new treatments and things that are going on, so um, ask questions. If you have suggestions as well, I welcome them. So I'm really open to suggestions, things that you've read or even done yourself that's been really helpful for you, so leave those down below. I'm gonna do an update video with my supplements, my oils, prayer, and um, my doctor appointment that I have in three days. So, all right, so that's it. Thank you everybody for um, all your support and love. So, all right, peace out, bye.